fish. Fish, fish on. on. Lift straight up and let the games begin. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely loving that head back there. Got another there. one of them starter fish. Starter fish. <laughs> Breaking me in slow, are you? Kyle, don't want to wreck you the first day out. <laughs> We're here in Lockport, Manitoba. Oh, just below a spillway. And we're fishing for trophy channel cats. And this is definitely the top channel cat fishery in the world. And we're here today with Captain Catfish, which is comprised of Captain Rick. Hi, I'm Captain Rick. And Captain Phil. And I'm going to tell you what, this fish has got a mind of his own. And the skippers are giving me a hard time saying this is a starter fish. <laughs> And uh, if you've never caught big channel cats, I tell you what, next time you're planning a vacation, beautiful Manitoba. I'm going to tell you what, nature, freshwater pelicans. I didn't even know there was such a, whoa, I didn't even know there was such a thing. And catching these things, whoa, catching these things like tuna. I mean, you throw the rod out and boom. And I'll tell you what, these channel cats fight a heck of a lot harder for their, you know, pound for pound than the big blue cats we've been catching. Whoa! Oh, baby. Well, that doesn't look like a starter oh, fish. No. Nope. That's an intermediate. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Oh, an intermediate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that looks like a You're nice fish. You're getting good. No, that's getting up into the varsity level, that one. Varsity level, okay. Well, Varsity Fish is getting ready to go in this fish bag. Yeah, that ain't no freshman fish. <laughs> that is a Varsity Channel. <laughs> and let me give you a hand here, Skipper. Thank you, Don. Open it up here a little bit. There we go. Well, I like this bag. Big, thick fish. That's got to be one of those uh, master Masters, angler fish. Masters, yeah, I think so. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's got to be how long, Skipper? 34. Well, oh, that's got a, a lot in common with the number 37 to me. I don't know, but that looks I'm not like used 30, to using 37 to me. 37. Hey. Let's get a quick weight on her. Inches? We'll get her back Big in the water. Big drum roll for the, for the weight. The beauty about this bag is you can do everything in it and not stress. Oh, that's a good fish. That's the biggest fish of the morning so far. What we got? 19... Uh-oh. 19.2. Yes! Yeah, yes! Yeah, yes! That's good. 19.2! Let me put on my freshman glove, Skipper. I've got to lift up this fish. I know, baby. We're going to let you go real quick. And I'll tell you what, if you're real cooperative and don't crush me, like the first one this morning... There we go. Oh! Wah! Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about channel cats. Wow. Oh. You know, we hear about these in the States, but they're like far and few between. You guys make it seem like this is just, you know, common fish. You know. That is an average fish. Average fish. Yeah. Give us a big smile. There you go. Give me average. <laughs> Beautiful, clean, healthy fish. Catch and release every one of them. Everything over 24 inches has to go back. Wow. This is a big chunk of channel here, right here. Big chunk of channel. That's a beautiful fish, Don. Beautiful fish needs to go back. That's for sure. She's ready to go. All right, girl. We've got uh, freshwater shrimp. And the way I put it on the hook and present it to the cat is I take the five-odd circle hook, barbless, and take it right through his head. Now, this is heads-on shrimp. And just thread it on the way you would a tube jig or a twister tail and you just put it through so that the point of the hook you can see it out the back of the tail is exposed so that when the cat comes and glomps onto that when he takes it in his mouth he's got the whole hook in his mouth when the tension comes on the line that circle hook will turn and nine times out of ten on the left side of his mouth is where it'll stick makes it very easy to retrieve the hook doesn't harm the fish at all. Excellent bait, and that's exactly what it looks like. This is calamari or, or squid, and we use the whole squid 
heads on. Very tough uh, bait. Even if the, the cats come up and, and hammer it hard, they still it still holds its uh, its texture and, and uh, stays on the hook really, really well. It's a very long bait, so what we do is take the circle hook, thread it through the top. Now I'm just going to flip this over so you can see what I'm doing. And then pull it right through. And then what you do is you take that circle hook and right behind the the squid's eyes, if that's what they are. I'm not sure about the anatomy of a squid. But then when that goes onto your hook, or onto your line, that's exactly what the cats see. They'll come up and they'll hang onto that, to that, uh, to that squid. It's got a, a pretty good uh, stink to it, a pretty good scent. Cats are, are renowned for their olfactory system. So they'll come up and they'll nibble on this and then if they like what they taste and they usually they usually do they'll just glomp onto that again the hook will go into its mouth the tension goes on the line the hook turns nine times out of ten right in the corner of the mouth now my secret weapon or my go-to bait tulipy this is a a tulipy that you can usually catch through the ice. As a matter of fact, over the, over the winter months, I go up on a Lake Winnipeg or Lake Manitoba, and I catch these through four feet of ice. I've got to drill through four feet of ice. It's cold up there, but it's well worth going out. You catch a bunch of these, freeze them over the winter time, keep them in your freezer. They stay nice and fresh. You come out and use them in this, uh, during the cat season, and the cats just eat this stuff up. Uh, as a matter of fact, we went through our entire winter stock and I uh, had to make a, an emergency run over to Pro-Am Tackle to, to get uh, his last four bags. This is, the last four bags he had in stock were the ones he sold me, and, and uh, we've, we've been using these all day. They're, it's a great, great bait. What I do is I take a really sharp knife, and I cut the head thusly. And that's, this is what Don likes to use. This is... This is his go-to piece is the head. There's a number of ways that you can, you can uh, hook it. You can hook it up through the mouth, or Don likes to go just behind the eyes and through, and that's the way it sits. The other pieces, we just cut them up into nice bite-sized chunks or steaks. The bigger the better because that negates the, the smaller fish coming up and biting them, but inch and a half, two inches, depending on the size of the, uh, of the, of the tulipy. Now they've got a spine or a set of, of bones, their spine and then their rib bones down through the middle of the fish. So what we do is we take that hook on one side or the other and we put it through and out through the other side, making sure that once that, the, uh, the, the point of the hook comes through that there's no scales, it's a very scaly fish you can see doesn't take much to dis dislodge the scales. And if you had a scale like that on the tip of your hook, it might uh, affect the way that it sticks into the fish's mouth. So make sure that there's no uh, scales on the end of that hook. Rig it up like that, throw it in with a, with a uh, slip sinker Carolina rig type of, uh, uh, type of rig and just wait for the cats. Polymer knots are really good for your hooks and your, and, your, uh, and your swivels, and they stay on really well. It's a great, great bait. We've caught some really, really big fish on these. We have oh, a bite. Yeah. Taking that drag. He is, he's gonna tighten her up a bit. Let's see if we can't catch us a fish. I don't know, he seems to not want to come up very good. Midi. Digging deep, isn't he? Come to me, baby. Strong fish. He's a strong Real fish. Real strong. I think it's another one of them four pounders. <laughs> well, they like going straight into the boat, don't they? They, for some reason, they get to the boat and then they just bulldog right down to the bottom, and then yeah. it's a fight. You been seeing that as a trend. Grab a foot, they'll take two foot back. 
We haven't actually seen it yet, have we? We don't no. even know if it is a fish. It could be another one of them trees. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's a fish. There we go. Come on up. He's getting close. Come and Whoa. see, Daddy. Come and see, Daddy. Whoa, big fish. Yeah. Can you see that, Phil? Real big fish. I'll bring him back. He's coming to you. I need him away from the boat. Right? Yeah. Do you want me to take him back where you got some space? No. Good. I'm a little busy right now. Call me back. And here we go. Wow. That's a monster there. That's big a good guy. fish, Rick. Wow. Yeah. Real good fish. It's a big, big male, I think. Yeah. Big one. Wow. Beautiful. There you go, little darling. How's that? Do you like going for a swim? Rick, uh, I've been to your website, and I gotta say, awesome job, man. I Thanks. mean, I mean that website is a class act. Thank and, you. And uh, you know, I saw in there, you know, what to bring and what. Why don't you tell us what we need to do to set up a trip with you, and then what what should we bring aboard the boat? Well, yourself, and. Originally, we joked, we said, you need to just show up and have a good attitude. And then we changed it and said, you know what? We can change your attitude, just show up. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we tried to set it up so that anybody could come out, regardless of their skill level and their equipment level, so that anything we think you're going to need is on board. Um, we supply all the tackle. And as you've seen here, we have a lot of different varieties of specialized catfish tackle. Mm -hmm. uh, we do up all our own rigs so people don't have to worry about that. We have at least, at any given time, four or different, five different kinds of baits, depending on what the mood of the catfish is that day and, and where we're going to be at, different currents, different water levels. Um, we carry rain gear on board. We carry everything. We supply lunches. We supply pop. Wow. Cold water. That's a first. Get some fruit. Really? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know what? most guys, say, well, you know, bring a lunch, bring your sunscreen, bring your rain sure. gear, bring, you know. And then uh, I heard, Bill was talking, you know. Yeah. I, I, well, Neve's dropping, but nope. you know, he said somebody he was picking up clients at the hotel and stuff. Sure. You know, we have arrangements with uh, with a company called Canadian, which is a local company, and they got some great resorts. If I'm not mistaken, you're staying in there. Yeah, and, and, yeah uh, They're all brand new and they're nice and clean, and uh, so we've made arrangements that they'll care for the clients uh, that are coming in that aren't coming with their own vehicles or that are, that don't have their own place to stay. Um, if they have their vehicle, we'll meet them out here at the water hole. But a lot of times we like to pick them up, like we've done with yourself. Yeah. Bring you here, show you some of the some of the sites and the history of the province about it. There's a lot of history in this area. Oh yeah, I, I know yeah. we've enjoyed hearing about it. This waterway was the main source of transportation for anything that ever came to Winnipeg. It came from the Northwest Passage, and all the big freighters came down here, and they went through the lock system and brought all our food to Winnipeg and and supplies. And so along the way, there's there's a lot of scenery, and as you saw coming up there, there's a lot of scenery. So we want to try and make it a, a bit more uh, a bit more of an adventure than just a fishing trip. And you know. The monster cats don't hurt either. <laughs> uh, you know, you gotta have dessert, right? <laughs> you know, you know I, I will say the scenic, you know, I mean, beautiful water. Yeah. Uh, the freshwater pelicans, you yeah. know, perched there behind us. You know, I've never seen that. You know, I grew up in, in Florida, and I'm used to seeing, you know, pelicans by the ocean, but uh, since then I've moved to Michigan, and, uh, right. you know, we see seagulls, but we don't have pelicans in the freshwater. Well, this is Pelican it's, Point right behind us here, that whole area up on the side. It's called Pelican Point, the housing district, and Today there's a few. We have probably around three, four hundred that live right down here in this area at any given time in the summer. Wow! And uh, beautiful they, birds. They they are more accurate for telling where the fish are than the weather department is telling us where the weather's <laughs> going to be. I tell you that. So whenever you see them dive bombing and stuff, that you know something's going on. We'll watch them go out in groups of twenty or thirty, and it is like pelican ballet when you watch all the heads dip into the water at exactly the same time, looking for the bait fish. If that's the case, we usually go fish that area because somewhere where there's bait fish, there's big cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like it's, well, I, I, speaking of the devil, some more are popping in here. Yeah, that's know? the Canadian Air Force right there, actually. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, I'm enjoying that, and it looks like we got a fish going, so hey, man. Been fighting for this fish. Yeah, we're just about, we're just about rough. Oh! Well, you think they're smaller, and then. <laughs> Gee, man, eh? That's not a bad fish, Saw Mr. The boat. Sweet. Saw the boat and didn't like it. Decided we were... he was going to get out of Dodge here. 
I was just starting to clean up, putting stuff away for the run in. And You know, I put it right beside that, and I saw that that pelican was getting bait fish there. So I said, hey, like you said, where there's bait fish, there's, there's cats. Catfish. So I just said, hey, it was the desperation cast, the last fish of the day. And I don't care what he weighs, he's a good. Yeah. He's giving you a really nice fight. Yeah. Oh. They're all good, just some are better than others. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. Come on, babe, let me look at you. Let me look at you. I haven't you. even seen it yet. Saw a big swirl, but that was about yeah, it. Yeah, big swirl under the boat somewhere. There he is. Ah. There he is. Yeah. You are the master of that. See, getting them to do that big. I almost did it. Well, he's not quite ready, is no. he? No, it's pretty green yet. Doesn't feel like playing. We're gonna get him up this time. I'm gonna keep this rod a little higher for you. Right now, he's gonna come right up. There he is. Nice fish. Nice meal. I promise you, I'm gonna I'll show you the weight on that other fish, but due to circumstances <laughs> that I'm glad are out of my control, we got another one going here, and uh, we'll see if we can't show them both to you at the same time. How's it feel, Don? Oh, they're all good. Ha! They're all good. And we covered that last fish, didn't we? It's all good, just there, some. Man. It's that spot right over there. Yeah. That's two cat. I mean. I took the rod and I cast it out so I could come back and help Captain Phil show you the fish that we just pulled in. So I cast this one right over in the same spot and boom, the camera person's back there, get back here and finish the show. Hey, fish rule. <laughs> you gotta love it. I may have this drag too tight and I'll hit it at the last second, but I wasn't getting where I wanted to get. So I had to crank down just a little bit. There we go. A little bit more. Ah. They stay down real, oh, there we go. They, they all tend to stay down really deep and come up when they get darn good and ready. And I'm gonna come up there and give you a hand, Don. Yeah, I appreciate got the net that. ready. When you think that they're coming up, of course, they always tend to give me a shower. I don't know what it is. They trying to tell me something <laughs> or what, but he's definitely staying deep. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big believer in placement. After this trip, the cats were here all along, but they were in a certain area feeding. There we go, in the net. A little bit lighter colored A little male. bit lighter colored, a little bit lighter fish, but yeah, still. Hey, they're all good. And that was the first one we pulled in. A little bit bigger fish, a little bit thicker, bigger head. Not all that different in length. Oh, man. But just the size of the mug on that guy. You know, both real nice. Gorgeous both real fish. real nice fish. And he is kind crushing a, my hand. Yeah, kind of a amber tone on the side of that one, olive. And just beautiful fish. And we're not going to waste any time, Skipper. No. Yeah, we're just going to ease these in together. Yep. So why don't we both put these in, let them swim off together. Uh, too beautiful. <sighs> yeah. Manitoba. Channel cats. Oh. Lego. See, honey. Lego. Yeah. See ya. Hey. <laughs> you know, I'm tired, man. And me too. I mean, this has been a heck of a day. I mean, I, don't, I, you know, I lost track of the number of fish, but I've got to be, I've got to be that, what, the Grand Poobah of Canada? You are now? the Grand Poobah of Canada. <laughs> you get five masters of the same species in your lifetime, and you become a specialist in that species. Well, you did that in one day. Yeah, yeah. Because of you, man. Hey, Skipper, you to me. Big channel cats. Still, still just. Fighting it pretty hard. 
I'll move that rod, grab the net. Well, I'd like to get a look at this guy. All in good time, oh. though, I guess. I saw, her, I saw her tail back here. Good tail? Yeah. All right. And the head was up here. I'm seeing some. Seeing some. Yo! Hello. Well, now I'm wearing the tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good fish. That is a good fish. Wow. Definitely. Definitely some fighting ability. Come up with them tail slaps. Oh. You know, you, you come up here hoping to just tie into a few of these brutes. And you've had us in these things steady. Wow. What a tail. Oh, good, good job. Fish. Good another, job. Another big man. Look at the head on him. Woo. Yeah, a little bit torn up tail. Huge fish. On the beds in there. That's a good, good oh, fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not the 25 that we're looking for. Hey, we're getting there. But we're definitely getting there. Circle hook right in the corner of his lip. I'm going to put him in there. Yeah. I think I got enough slack for you. Maybe yep. not. No, you do. Work that out. Yeah. I'm going to take him and put him right in there and then work on him from there. There we go. What is that? He's just caught on the hook. There we are. There we are. That's a nice. Oh, I got a got a fish going here on the my secret weapon. This is the. Oh, oh. man! I got my cat tracker. Cat tracker out here. And uh, my wicked sticky formula. And uh, oh, it's plenty base stuff. That's base still on there, man. Can't get rid of that bait. No. Nope. I'm gonna put it right back over there. Right on back over there. Just trying not to let anybody know about that secret, but you know, I was able to bring this on the plane. I'm gonna tell you what. It works. <laughs> now just get back on there. There we go. Oh, he clamped big time. Yeah. Big male like that. Wow. Gorgeous. Big guy. Again with the parasites on his Yeah, parasites on him. He's been fighting a little bit. He's got some sores here on his on his nose. On his nose. Not on the top of his head though, like we've seen, but the bottom of the tail is still raw from guarding those nests, I guess. Fanning them out. Long fish though. Long fish. Wow. Big Beautiful. guy. From one end of you to the other end of me. <laughs> How big was he? He was this big? Yeah, he was definitely that big. i tell you what, pretty boy. Let's get him back in the yeah, water. Let's... Skipper, well, you pegged that right on the head, didn't you? Well, we were here a couple days ago, and that was the spot. Let me say this, be in good shape when you come see these guys. Yeah, eat your Wheaties. Be in real good shape. Under, under adverse conditions, it wore me out, and I'm a diehard fisherman, you know, as you know. You're a great fisherman. Wore me out. And I'm gonna tell you, both these guys, fantastic guys. I'm here to tell you, awesome, awesome facilities, supply everything, even the fish, you know? <laughs> and a lot of places that you might go, it kind of looks like trick photography, doesn't it? You know, you kind of see, it. fish comes in a little too easy. You didn't see anything easy here. <laughs> Nothing came in easy here. You know, no scuba divers putting fish. Unbelievable fishing. Unbelievable. If you get a chance, hey, CaptainCatfish.com. Hey, easy to remember, right? You know what? You're a great guest to have on board. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for letting us catch a fish. We don't yeah. like to do that very often. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys, been a lot of fun. Appreciate it. Uh, next year, as you know, we're going to be out and about again. And uh, if I pick one guy to come and see out here, and you will see that, it's these guys.